If you came across this video, you are probably the type of person that has been picked on all your life because you are so quiet. You are probably the type of person that is observant rather than being the talkative person when you are amongst a group of people. A lot of people look at quiet people in a negative way. They like to call quiet people standoffish, clueless, naive. I'm here to tell you that being naive is actually a superpower you can actually use your quietness to your full advantage you know i came across this quote the other day and the quote said the quietest person in the room is usually the smartest and most observant the loudest person in the room is too loud to hear anyone but themselves and it kind of made me think, you know, obviously this quote doesn't apply to everyone in every circumstance. It's true in a sense because when you are quiet, you can pick up on the smallest things that most people who are talking cannot or who are not self-aware cannot. When you are naturally quiet, most naturally quiet people are not naive. They're actually very observant and very aware of what's going on behind the scenes. So don't let people try to make you feel bad or try to make you change who you are because, you know, you're just naturally quiet. You, you know, you may be the type of person where your social battery runs out quicker than others. You don't really feel the need to use your energy to speak or use your energy to tell everyone what you already know. You know, it's okay to be a quiet person. You know, it's not rude, you're not being standoffish, and you're not naive, okay? Use your quietness to your advantage because it really is a superpower. You know, this superpower is especially helpful when you are at work or at school. Um, you could be the new person at work and somebody may be trying to get over on you because they think you're naive and you don't know anything, so they may try to put more workload onto you when really you already know what's going on you already checked out all of the rules you you know what it is that you're supposed to do and you know that this person is really just trying to get over on you because they ain't trying to get no work done so they they're going to try to put it on you because they think you don't know anything you know they'll start to show their true colors and start they'll just start telling on themselves people will start literally telling on themselves you'll have co-workers that'll come up to you and be like yeah i used to be jealous of you until i found out who you, who you really are you could be talking to amongst of co-workers and as you're talking to them as you're talking to them you notice that one of them gives a little eye signal to the other co-worker as an insider as if you didn't catch it you know you are able to pick up on things when you are observant you're able to pick up on little small things like that and they think you don't catch it even when you're talking you still pick up on those things because you've been quiet and you've been observing people for so long, nothing can get past you. Even when they think things are getting past you, it does not get past you. And that's your superpower. So don't just feel like you have to give out all of your knowledge. You feel like you don't wanna be seen as naive or be seen as if you don't know anything. Trust me, it's actually better that way if people think you don't know anything. If someone is not asking you for advice, don't just feel like you have to throw on your advice or knowledge. Not everybody is going to receive your knowledge well. Not everybody's gonna be in a receiving state, may rub somebody off the wrong way. Just use your discernment and only give your advice when people are coming to you, they're seeking it, they absolutely need it, they can use it, they can use some uplifting words, encouraging advice you know, then yeah, that would be a perfect time to go ahead and give out all of your knowledge. But if it's not, if, if they're not asking for it, let them person go through whatever it is they need to go through. Let them find out on their own. You don't have to give all your knowledge away just because you know all the answers. And if you are not naturally an observant person, try being quiet sometimes and just sit back and observe you will start to see people's true colors. You will start to pick up on things when you are quiet. 
people will start to tell on themselves. They'll show you who they are. The more and more quiet you become, the more and more you will see what's going on. And if you sense hidden shade is being thrown at you, you know, sometimes you can't call it out too soon because there are people that will try to deny it or flip the script on you. Um, but let people show you who they are the first time. I know with coworkers, you can't just cut people, you can't cut coworkers out of your life. But you know, just act accordingly. Distance yourself as much as you can. Once people reveal to you who they are the first time, believe them. <laughs> just believe them, okay? And do you, keep doing you. <laughs> keep doing you, don't take offense to it. You know, everybody's going through something, right? Everybody's going through something. So always keep your heart upright. Okay, don't let certain circumstances influence you to be evil, you know, or influence you to be a certain way. Like, you gotta be Mr. Tough Guy now, or you gotta be Mr. Know-it-all. No, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Still keep being you. <laughs> Still keep being you. Let people misunderstand you. Okay? You're quiet. You're sweet. Keep being quiet. Keep being sweet. Let people think whatever they want to think about you. All right. And just stay focused on you. That's all there is to it. Don't let people get in your head or make you feel bad. Okay, I wish I had this type of advice when I was younger. I wish I had someone to tell me that. So I feel very compelled to tell people that may need this advice. It's okay to be seen as naive. <laughs> it's okay, trust me. It works out in your favor more than you think. So sending you all so much love and light. Remember to just be you. Don't change. Keep being you. I hope you all have a beautiful day.